Hey guys and welcome back to the channel. Now, this is not a, an in-depth review about anything. It's just a small announcement. Uh, Yamaha has uh, sent me six of their latest earphones and headphones and uh, it's pretty exciting because uh, I've I've always wanted to get my hands on Yamaha products. Uh, I've, it's not been easy. But they've sent everything from their uh, starting range to their, I wouldn't say high end because they've got much higher end stuff. Up to let's say a 30,000 mark. Uh, I think th those sell for about 24, 25,000, but it goes for that much. So the products that they have uh, sent me are the TW series with the E3B, E5B and E7B. And then there is a sports specific uh, set of earphones that are the TW ES5A. Uh, it's a very interesting unit, in fact. And they sent me a neckband. Now, the, <laughs> the last time I reviewed a neckband was when I first started this channel two and a half, almost three years ago. But that wasn't anything like this. Those were just 1500 or 1600 rupees worth. This specific one is the EPE70, which uh, is a surprising set of uh, earphones. Uh, on a sound front especially and they've also sent the uh, headphones which are the YHE 700s which are massive I've I've never seen a set of Bluetooth headphones that are this big but uh, what's interesting about all of these earphones in fact that's that's really got me interested in Yamaha in particular is they have not fallen into the usual track that everybody else is following everybody else is very obsessed with the mass market approach of things everybody wants to have uh, the loudest uh, headphones or earphones, everybody wants to have the maximum bass. Yamaha is, in fact, has included a feature on all of their headphones and earphones called listening care. And uh, what listening care does is it's, it's kind of based on the Fletcher Munson curve. So if you don't know what the Fletcher Munson curve is, originally when a lot of research was being done towards audio in particular, they discovered that the human ear detects different frequencies at different volumes. Uh, basically, our sensitivity towards different frequencies are different at different volumes. So now at lower volumes, we're able to hear things like whispers, mid-tones, maybe slight high frequencies. Uh, the louder we uh, we speak uh, or the louder you listen to your music, the more balanced everything sounds. So when you're listening to your music at a lower volume on any set of headphones or earphones, usually the mid frequencies sound more prominent than the highs and lows. So the default setting for somebody to do is to crank it up or go up to 80% or 90% uh, with your wireless earphones to have that balanced sound or higher highs and higher bass. So what listening care does in particular is on, I think uh, uh, a few of these have it as an active system, but the others just have it in as a locked in feature. So uh, what it does is it at a lower volume elevates the highs and lower frequencies to give you a balanced sound. So whether you're at 50%, 40%, 30% or even 10% volume, at every single point in time, it's balanced music. And whether you're listening to the E3B, which is their entry level or even the higher end E700, it's a balanced uh, signature. This helps you prevent from cranking your volume too high. And it's nice to see that they're taking an initiative like this towards listening care because I myself have friends who the first thing they do if they want to test a new set of wireless earphones I have, They'll put it into their ear, sync it to their phone and crank up to 90 or 100% and say, hey, this is not loud enough. I want to listen to these. And, oh, this is louder than this at 100%. I want these. This is, it's not a healthy way to listen to music or measure quality or a certain standard of headphones or earphones. The best way to figure that out is to see if you can get a balanced sound at lower volumes. And the trick is not in seeing how loud it can get. The trick is to see if you have a balanced sound even at a lower volume. Volume does not equal clarity or quality in the audio. So Yamaha has definitely had their uh, sights set toward sound. That is their absolute priority. At least that's the message I've gotten from growing through, going through their entire range from the lowest range, lowest set of earphones to the higher end. With these, I found that I'm sitting at 35%, 30% uh, majority of the time. What's nice about this is you can switch the listening care off if you don't want it. But I don't see anyone doing this because especially if it's at a lower volume, it gives you a nice rounded signature. So even if you're listening to these before you go to bed, it's, it's more than adequate enough. Uh, there's no need to crank these too high. And generally speaking about the earphones that I'll be reviewing now, the E3B, I think in essence is a competitor to the Sony C500. Uh, I did listen to the Sony C500s very briefly uh, some months ago. Uh, I don't own a set, so I can't do any A-B testing to see how each one is. But the, the uh, E3B has left me genuinely in awe of what it can do. Uh, it is a very basic set of earphones. There's no active noise cancelling, uh, but its passive isolation is quite terrific. And on a sound front, I think these guys have nailed it because 
uh, they've not gotten stuck in that loudness war. So there's no accentuated bass. Uh, there's no over exaggerated tones. I think a lot of people who will appreciate these headphones and earphones are potential audiophile uh, hobbyists, uh, musicians for sure. Uh, it's it's not bloated or exaggerated in any range, whether it's starting range or all the way up to the higher range headphones. So now the tricky thing is I will be working on in-depth reviews with all of these headphones and earphones. Now, you guys know how detailed I get when it comes to all of these reviews. So in fact, I have been sitting with these for some time. Uh, maybe that's why you've seen a bit of a blackout with posting. It takes a lot of effort to put in this level of quality and detail, especially from the shooting to the scripting and the post-production, because I like to get it right so that I can help somebody out there understand a potential earphone that they could own. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start posting these uh, regularly, maybe uh, one each day or every alternate day. I'll, I've yet to decide about that. And of course, if you guys would like to see what these earphones and headphones are all about, remember to come back. If you're not subscribed, just come back to the channel and, and have a look at it if you'd like to. Uh, and uh, I hope that you guys will enjoy all of these episodes as much as I have had in creating them. And if you guys would like to support the channel, I'm sure you know exactly how to. But of course, thank you for tuning to Paul's POV for some sound advice.